ranking items in power bi is another uh calculation that we should know how to do and we make use of the rank x function to do that so the x on the rank x function already signifies to us that it is uh, an iterator so it goes row by row so let's say we want to do a quick report for our uh, sales team so let me bring up this table where i want to have my sales team names or let's use the reps instead so let's say the sales representative so remove the sales team and use the sales rep instead so we have about 16 of them let me increase the size Twenty-five is good, or twenty. Okay, so now if I put in their revenue numbers, I can see what it looks like. But what I would like to do is to have a ranking of each of the sales representatives obviously organic should show one here and then maybe uh garcia should show two and so on and so forth so based on how much revenue they have so for me to do that let me come to my orders table and define a measure let's call this sales rep rank so sales rep rank equals to i want to use the rank x function so rank x as an iterator says returns the rank of an expression evaluated in the current context in the list of values for the expression you know something that doesn't really make too much sense for me so rank x wants a table and uh, because i'm ranking my sales reps so maybe maybe let me use the sales team table where my sales reps are comma then it wants an expression to rank by so i want it to rank by the sum of the sales column obviously so sum of the order sales so some of the other sales column comma then the third argument which is optional is value let's always ignore this i've not seen the use case for this yet and the order is how do i want to rank do i want to rank do i want the highest number to be number one or do i want the lowest number to be number one so i guess i want it to be descending because i want the highest number to be number one and uh, the last argument is tie so what do i do if two numbers are the same should i skip the next number or should i uh, uh make it dense so this basically means for example if i have uh two people that have the same number and they are both second so should i have first should i have one two two then should i have four because two is already appearing twice so that's going to be uh a skip now so one two two and four or should i have one two two three which at the end of the day if there were 16 of them will end up having 15 so that's when you do a dance so let's say any one of them really any one of them is good and close and hit enter so let's add it to the report and see if we are right or wrong so sales rep rank this is sales rep rank and obviously we are wrong because everything here just computes one 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 so let's analyze what has happened so if i come here and we want to see this again we said rank x of the sales team are we ranking the sales team no we are actually ranking the sales representative so sales team in itself has so many columns besides when a particular rep is selected like this abigail thompson for example this sales team you see in this formula will only show the sales team table for abigail thompson alone so and we are not trying to rank based on abigail versus abigail and that's why we have first we want to rank abigail versus everybody 
so we can use this instead let's change this to all of the sales team representatives okay so rank x of the table one is a table that contains all of these people right and then we now say the expression we want to evaluate them for is the sum of the other sales right so if i hit enter i will write yet so when i hit enter you will see that still nothing changes because if you think about it we said that when you evaluate a formula within a row context so this rank x is going to trigger a row context because it's an iterator so it goes row by row on a table that has a list of the sales representative so it gets to that table sees a list of sales representative there are 16 of them and then because it is within that row context that this uh, sum of other sales is now going to be evaluated so the sum of other sales is 2297200 that's the sum of other sales column so within the row context which we explained much earlier in the videos what you are going to see for every row so for abigail thompson somehow it is it is saying 22297 versus the grand total for this person is still saying 22297 versus the grand total and that's why you have one all the way through so instead of this because rank x is an iterator this expression that we are uh, trying to compute inside the rank x function needs to be transited from a row context that it is into a filter context and how do we do that by wrapping the expression inside a calculate function so calculate function against the sum and when i hit enter now i should have my correct number so this really is what we need to do to be able to write the rank x formula correctly but then like i explained earlier again so instead of using this calculate some of these i could just instead say my expression is the revenue formula i've written before so revenue measure so if you use this revenue measure this technically means calculate sum of revenue when you reference a measure within another measure you are basically using something that has a calculate around it internally so when i hit uh, enter here now i should have the same result so this pattern is how you typically use the rank x function always start the rank x function with all of the column you want to rank for and always use a previously written out sum measure or maybe you want to use calculate around it instead and then you will have your ranking return correctly